because I was sitting there waiting for Jenna to come with the camera and then that tentacle dude that thing's going around trying to go into my pants trying to <laughs> pull it out <laughs> it was so weird but anyway It's a hot day and it's low tide, which means I'm going down to the beach in order to find some creepy sea aliens. So even though I'm not by the tide pools yet, I'm still keeping my eye out around here because there are cool snakes out here. I mean, there's Cape Cobras, there's Puff Adders, there's Crossmark Whip Snakes, there's Chameleons. And I mean, I, I got my eyes peeled for everything out here. Got my prescriptions on so I can see everything clearly because I'm blind as a bat. But uh, I think we can find some cool stuff. And although I didn't come across any reptiles on the path, it wasn't long until I hit the first brackish water tide pool, and that's when we found our first creature. It's kind of perfect because right there I can see a crab, quite a nice sized one as well. Let's see if we can get him out of here. Gotcha! Nah, these guys can pinch really hard. Oh my god! Yo, he was not making that easy, dude. Holy smokes! Wow, he's a monster. <laughs> Look at that, he's huge. How big boy. I mean, this isn't like mud crab size, but mud crabs are much more rare out here. <laughs> that is so cool, he's a monster. That is awesome, dude. I mean, check the size of him next to my face here. I mean, look, check at that, imagine, imagine that's your finger right there. I mean, that's, that's insane. Look at that, he's a sword fighter now. He is a Kung Fu master. Oh, he dropped it. Never mind. But don't worry about me holding out the water. They actually have specialized sacks where they can carry a little bit of salt water with them wherever they go, which makes them, a, which allows them to traverse around all these rock pools out here. So it's quite perfect for me to actually hold him like this. But I'm not going to stress him out much more than that. I think we can put him back and let him go free without uh, hopefully not getting myself pinched in the process. Look at that. He's actually really fast. <laughs> Thanks guy for the little video. <laughs> Guys, check this out. I managed to scoop him up with my hands. Let me see if I can scoop some water into here as well. I actually managed to catch a little fish here. <laughs> that is so cool. This is a rock goby. I also like to call them rock bullies. But these guys don't do very well for very long out the water. Maybe you'll sit nicely like that. That's so cool. <laughs> How about that, eh? That's not too bad. Catching a fish with your bare hands. It's not every day that happens. All right. Let's check out. Yeah, you can see there's a whole bunch of sea urchins here. That's pretty cool, but nothing too spectacularly rare. There's a little fish out there. That's quite nice. Nah, we'll put this guy back as I go as gently as possible. Perfect. And let me check these rocks out. And shout out to New Balance. These tackies are awesome. I take them literally everywhere. They're my all terrain tires for the beach. Check this one out. Let's check that. Oh, look at that. That's so creepy and gross. There's actually some fire worms down there right by my finger. I do not want to get my hand on those. Oh, check this out. This is cool. This is cool. That's it. That is awesome. I'm going to keep him in the water because he shouldn't take starfish out the water. That is so cool. These are bristle stars. This, I think, is a common uh, banded bristle star, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to take a look when I get back home. <laughs> That's so cool, big guy. That is awesome. Let me put him back. Check all the fish checking me out. <laughs> Leave them alone, big guy. You gotta watch your step out there. I mean, I'm slipping everywhere. And I got this camera, and I would hate for this camera to break. All right, this spot looks really good. I really need to get a GoPro so we can do these like underwater flips. That would be pretty cool. I mean, take, take a look at that beautiful limpet there. It's like reflecting all those beautiful greens and stuff. Absolutely stunning, check that. I actually might not lift these rocks. These guys are so pretty. I mean, those are the prettiest little shells I've ever seen. I mean, that's stunning. You know, I'm not gonna disturb them. Let's see if we can find a different rock. That's so cool. So this is one of the spots that I always have to stop at if I'm coming to a tide pool here. I've got these awesome rocks right there and you jump straight into that. That's about two and a half, three meters deep. It's actually so cool. And I just, you got it. You can't come past here and not do it. So we're gonna, detach all the camera equipment and we're gonna get into the water. There is just something so amazing about the ocean. Being able to just jump into the waves and jump into the rock pools is so cleansing, not just for your body, but for your soul as well. And to do it with your friends makes it even better. 
But now that my soul is cleansed and the intermission is over, let's get back to finding some cool creatures. Check this out, so these guys spot a nice little octopus here. Yeah? And he's inked all over me. It's okay, big guy. I want to be gentle. I'm going to take him out the water for one second. And he's stuck to my leg. <laughs> take a look at that. He's so small. This is a common octopus. And they're quite common in these rock pools here. They mainly feed on the crustaceans, the sea urchins, all sorts of things like that. And I'll let him go. That's so cool. Good spot, guys, eh? Appreciate it. Yeah, well done. Check it out. got me all over the place, which is rinsing off nicely. <laughs> Pick him up the glasses, guys. He inked me there. I think I can see a PC on my nose, too. Yep. Oh, that stuff's so weird. It's such a clever, like, distraction, because once that ink kind of shoots off, number one, it impairs their vision, and also number two, it can give the potential predator a fright. A lot of people can be very scared of these guys. But me, I saw him, I was like, I have to go get him. But the important thing is you don't want to take him out of the water for too long. That's why I sat in there with him. So I apologize if you guys couldn't hear him properly. Or hear me properly, sorry, he wasn't speaking. But that was so cool. I'm so happy we got to see one. And those guys, they were asking me earlier, like one of my YouTube or something, because I had the camera out. And thankfully, I did tell them that I was, because they called me over. And I don't even know what happened to the rocks from there to that rock pool. They just disappeared. I heard octopus and I was there. <laughs> That's so cool. So that octopus experience was pretty cool. I mean, they shouted out, there's an octopus here, there's an octopus here. So I ran over, got the octopus, and then I had to call Jenna to come in with the camera. But the only way I could feel this, to make this octopus feel safe, was I kind of put him in my lap. Because if I just hold him, he kept on trying to get away and stuff. And I didn't want to hold him or fully restrict him. So it was quite weird, but, because I'm sitting there waiting for Jenna to come with the camera, and then that tentacle, dude, that thing's going around, trying to go into my pants, trying to <laughs> pull it out. <laughs> it's so weird, but anyway. Feels very, very slimy with the suction cups as well. It's so crazy. As you can see, I still got a bit of it. The stains and stuff here. Yeah. I don't know if I've got it anywhere else. <laughs> That's quite cool. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.